it guys welcome to warrior basic training today we're going to be doing movement and controls now I get asked this a lot how do you know about my key binds how you know I move around and all that kind of stuff so today I'm just going to explain how I how I play how I've set my key binds up okay and how I use my mouse to move okay um, when I, I mean cause when I first started playing Swartor, um, my when I was when I first hit the level 50 cap, which was it was 50 back in the day, if you've just joined us, um, while I was gearing up, because I realised gear played a big part in this game, and it still does. Okay, you've got to min max it to really compete with a lot of a lot of different players. Um, but my main my main focus was I need to be fast. I need to be able to move fast. I need to be able to get the right moves and keybinds off fast. Um, so that's what I still spend a lot of time trying to do, sort of thing. Um, and what I've been doing so far has worked, been working pretty well. So I'm just going to basically run through some of that stuff with you, okay? Because uh, a lot of people ask about my user, my user interface, and you know why I've got it set up like that. What do I use for my movement keys and stuff like that, okay? So I'm going to go with a few how I've got myself, okay? Okay, so with the keyboard. That is purely for keybinds and my abilities. Okay, I don't use WASD. Um, if you look at my toolbar, you can see that my W button is, um, for instance, on Dracul. It's for my smash. Okay, now my movement keys, I have rebound to ASD, so I can turn left and right, and I can move forward. Okay, um, I've taken back pedal off. My actual keyboard. I, d I don't use it. I don't need it. Okay. Now my mouse, um, which I I'll flash a picture up for you, is the Logitech G500. Um, I don't use um, any of the MMO gaming mouses. I had a Naga. Um, didn't really like it. If anything, I felt like it slowed me down a little bit. So I've gone back to my Logitech G500. Okay. Um, purely for the fact that I know the new Naga has this and the new Logitech G600. MO, yeah, I think that's the mouse. Um, the reason I like my G500 is because of the the scroll wheel on the mouse. Okay, it clicks left and right. So if I click left and right now, you can see on my mouse left, and then I move right on my on my uh, wheel, and it moves me right. Okay. So I use my mouse for movement. So if I hold down my left mouse button and my right mouse button, you will see that I can walk forward. Okay. And uh, now at the same time, if I'm walking forward, or I hold down my right mouse button, I can if I hit my scroll wheel right, I'll start strafing right, and I move my mouse along with it. Same again, left. So if I'm moving forward, I can actually still use my two fingers to move left and right, and I can strafe quite easily. So if I'm on a target here, just use my mouse, nothing on the keyboard. This is using the boat buttons and the mouse wheel. I can move around a target quite easily. So this leaves this hand, my left hand, free for all my keybinds, all my abilities. Okay. So I'll go through quickly the my keybinds. Okay. So as you can see here, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That anything else after that, I have to stretch for. I mean, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, so. Anything after sort of, if we're going to sort of six, seven, I'm really having to stretch for it, which in turn is slowing me down. Okay. Now under that, because the the closest to one, two, three, four, five, I use Q, W, E, R, and T. Okay, because they're pretty much the same sort of stretching distance, right? So I can easily go from hitting two to W quite easily. Okay. Now my Pinky, my little finger, is sat on the tab. Okay, so I can easily scrub. So while I, even when I'm using abilities, I can easily tab through targets while pressing my abilities. Okay, now we can see down here that um, my long distance moves. Okay, so my saber throw and my force charge is on C and V. Right. Now usually your thumb is just sat on the space bar. Okay, and that's all it's doing is jumping. Now if you look above your space bar, you'll notice there's C and V. Okay, so while I have my little finger on the tab button and I'm using my three main fingers for my one, two, three, four, five, and my QWERT, 
I've got my thumb sat on the space bar, but it's also with a slight slip up I can use C and V. So for instance, if I'm at a distance here, without having to move my hand off the keyboard, I can go C and I can go V. If I want I can jump around and then I've still got my main fingers using my abilities. And there's a jumping seat while well, I can get off buttons, see? Okay, cool. So that's why I've got it set up like that, okay? It means I can be pretty fast, I can still move, and it will not affect me clicking my abilities, okay? Now, the next thing above it is I have uh, five more abilities. Things like, okay, for instance, on Dracul, I've got my, uh, my interrupt, which is shift one. Shift two is my, uh, my CC. Um, three is my um, AOE taunt. Four is my Saber Ward, and five is Enraged Defense. Okay. Now the reason that they are on the shift button and they are above there is because I could be hitting one, and if I want to, or if I'm hitting one, two, three, for instance, and I want to interrupt someone because I can see somebody casting, all I have to do is press shift one. Okay. Now the interesting thing about my shift button is I don't use the shift on the keyboard on the Logitech. G500, um, I have the shift button assigned to one of the buttons I've got on the side on my mouse. So I can still move, hit my abilities, and then I use my thumb on my mouse to hit the shift button. Right? So having the shift on my mouse button means I can hit the shift button faster than having to stretch either use my well stretch my little finger down and hit the shift button for instance okay so I could be hitting on this target two three all I've got to do now is press shift on my mouse button and three again and I've done it and I go back and if I release it I will go back to hitting three right so same again if I want to get my saber ward up I'm hitting four shift four and four again I then get my abilities pretty much well off pretty damn quick okay so for instance I'll show you a basic rotation using solely my keyboard for keybinds and my mouse for movement only okay so this way I can strafe everyone shift button get off the stunt there's my shift keys And because my tab target, I can easily, let me just select him. I can easily tab among the targets. Voila! Like so. Okay, you get the basic idea. Okay, now the next things. I'll go through is you can see I've got my um, my endure pain and my warzone med pack on F1 and F2 right now usually you want to hit your endure pain and your med pack together okay because your endure pain is going to give you increase your maximum health for what is it <sighs> health by 30% okay so if you use your med pack while you've got your endure pain up you will get more heals from your med pack because of that extra health. So even when your endure pain goes, that med pack is still giving you that extra health. Okay. Now, so why F1 and F2? Because if you look above the one, two, three, four, five, I have F1, F2, F3, and F4 on the keyboard. Okay. So same again. It's the fastest way for me to hit those abilities off. I just have to move my fingers up slightly. F1, F2, and that's me healed. And I can still then drop my fingers down slowly, and I'm back on my keybinds. Okay. Um, the next thing is I have because I use on the top row shift 1 2 3 4 5 I use underneath it for other abilities shift Q shift W shift E shift R and shift T so same thought same sort of thing again I can be hitting you know Q for instance which would be my shatter and then with a click on my mouse button it's shift which hits my taunt which means I can do that again pretty fast Okay, now also assigned to my mouse button, um, I'll flash up the picture of the Logitech again. Um, I've got two buttons signed to F9 and F10. 
So, if I want to use a grenade, all I've got to do is hit one of my mouse buttons. Oh, wrong one. Hit one of my mouse buttons and I'll bring up the marker. And I can do it. Okay. Um, and I've got my um, my buff on the other one. Just because I like to click that a lot. Even, it's, it's a habit. If you're watching my videos, you'll see that I'm always buffing up when I'm not doing something. Um, that's just a habit I picked up. Plus, it's making sure that everyone in your team is constantly got the buff from you. So that's why I like to spam that quite often. Um, other than that, I've got F5 down here, which I don't really need to stretch for, and usually I'm not in combat when I need to do that, so it doesn't matter if I have to stretch to hit that button. Um, so that's pretty much it there. It will take, um, if you're used to being a clicker, where you're clicking your abilities with your mouse, and you're using your keyboard solely for moving around and stuff like that. Um, It'll take you a while to get used to it, it'll take you a good few days, but stick with it and uh, it'll improve your gameplay massively. So, um, if you've got any other questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as fast as I can. Um, if there's anything else regarding to um, rotation certain abilities, um, they will be coming up in future videos. So, uh, hit the like button guys, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. See you later. Thank you.